So in my last video, I talked about how I like uh, VS Code's extension marketplace and how I wish that something kind of like that was in NeoVim. But then I showed this little prototype plugin that I started working on, and I just kind of wanted to give an update on how things are coming along. So I decided not to use Telescope, and there were a couple of reasons for that, but I've come and created my own little UI here, and I gotta say, that's actually been quite difficult. <laughs> but I've learned a lot and hopefully I'll be able to generate some content off of that that I'll be able to share with you guys because I know that there's a lot of interest in the community and being able to create plugins and there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of content out there on how to go about doing that. Moving on, so if I make a search here, let's say I wanna search for LunarVim because I like LunarVim, then I'll just search for Lunar and then wait for the results to show up. And there we go. And we get Lunar Vim as the first search result. And if we can go down through this list and you see that it updates the details pane up there. And so, yeah, I've been pretty happy with how this is starting to turn out, but there's still a lot of work to do. And I have no idea when this will actually be ready, when I'll like feel comfortable to just kind of release it into the wild. Although I guess technically anyone could go install this plugin right now, but I don't <laughs> recommend that at this current point in time. But I also mentioned in my last video that I created a simple little backend to uh, get these search results from. And so just to kind of demonstrate that, if I search for Plink, and that's the name of this plugin that I've decided to call it is Plink, although that is still subject to change, I actually went to see if the domain name Plink was available and it's not. And I would eventually like to have a domain name for this thing. And so unfortunately it might come down to finding a name where the domain name is also available before I settle down on what I actually want to call this thing. But anyways, we see that Plink does not show up. Looks like we get a link probably because link is in Plink and this does do a uh, fuzzy finding. So if I switch over to my backend project, I actually added that in here. I just have this plugins.json file that has all the different plugins in there. So I'm not using a database or anything like that. I don't think that is necessary right now because the number of plugins is just really not that big. And so it makes way more sense just to have all the stuff in the JSON file and basically use uh, the JSON file as my database. But you can see that I've added my plink.nvim plugin to this list. And so I just need to deploy it at this point. So I'll just run this deploy command and it shouldn't take too long, but I'll come back after it's deployed. All right, so that finished deploying. So I'll come back over here to this project. And if I just start this search again, then it should pop up in the results. And of course we get some kind of error. <laughs> Just proof that this thing is still a work in progress and install it at your own risk. Actually, what I'm looking at right now is on my develop branch. This isn't on the main branch. So I, I don't know why I'm telling you guys this. Don't, don't install this plugin unless you really want to. But anyways, we can see that Plink now shows up there in the search results. And if I come over here, we can go and take a look at the uh, repository. And yeah, so like I said, this is a, a huge work in progress still. I don't know that I'm ready to take contributions to the, the actual uh, NeoVim plugin, but if you really wanted to and you felt like contributing, then you could come here to the site. So this is the back end and front end. I'm just using SST for a serverless stack. It's basically a CDK, AWS CDK, if you're familiar with that. It's a framework on top of that framework library thing. But if someone felt really ambitious, you could go and create a front end for this, this thing. I don't even know what the front end might look like. I think eventually it would be nice to be able to let plugin authors submit their plugin on the website so that it shows up in search results. But for now, and maybe just forever, I don't know, it might just make sense for someone to open up a pull request uh, requesting that their plugin get added. And that might be the, the route I take. So yeah, I don't know. Like I said, I just kind of wanted to show an update on how things are coming along. And yeah, it's, it's a lot of work, but it's been a lot of fun trying to figure this stuff out and really satisfying once I do. If you like this video, then give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more of this stuff. And as always, I hope to see you in the next one.